this Wednesday, the 2nd of December, I'm Lee Wilde. From the heart of Tameside, Ashton, Hyde, Staley Bridge, Denton, Duckinfield, Ordenshaw, Troilsden, Mossley. This, this is Inside Tameside. Tameside will be saying no in the House of Commons vote about airstrikes in Syria later. The Prime Minister has been setting out his case for Britain to join the fight against Islamic State in Syria, but the Labour leader thinks it will only lead to more civilian deaths. Tameside's MPs have confirmed to us how they plan to vote later. MP for Ashton, Angela Rayner, Denton and Reddish MP Andrew Gwynn, Staley Bridge MP Jonathan Reynolds all say they will be voting no. In a statement, Andrew Gwynn said that airstrikes were inevitably going to kill innocent civilians. Meanwhile, the High Peak MP Andrew Bingham, local MP for Glossop residents, says he intends to vote for the airstrikes in Syria. In a statement, Mr Bingham said that we have to confront these terrorists before they can carry out these dreadful attacks here. In other news today, a North West-based textiles company is investing £5.8 million to bring cotton spinning back to Tameside. More than 100 new jobs will be created by the project, which will regenerate a former Victorian cotton mill. English Fine Cottons will base its new production facility in the refurbished Tower Mill in Duckinfield. The facility will be the UK's only cotton spinning company, reviving the iconic trade more than 30 years after its last mill closed in the 1980s. And finally, the Leap Centre in Ashton will be holding their Christmas fair on Sunday. Based in Clyde House on Clyde Street, there will be a raffle, carols, face painting and a tombola. Plus you'll get to meet Santa. It runs from 12 till 2.